the President of the United States. Yeah. The right now is not who wins. From America to Europe, their voices have traveled the world. Today they're back in the dust of their homeland, in the townships of South Africa. A young man under apartheid, Joseph Shabalala, founded Ladysmith Black Mambasso 50 years ago. Celebrating this anniversary here is like being with family again. In the jungles of central Guatemala, the army has declared war against the powerful Mexican drug cartel. Alta Vera Paz Department, inhabited mostly by indigenous Maya, is a key transit point for South American cocaine headed to the United States. The Faungdor U Festival of the Inder people in eastern Myanmar. Here people are mainly fishermen and farmers. They earn just a few dollars a day and getting by is for most their biggest concern. Chunks of glacier ice thud against the hull of the boat. An ominous warning about the impact of global warming. This bay, high in the Arctic, used to be solid ice. Over the last 20 years, the glacier has receded more than a kilometer. Sprawled across the heart of Mumbai, the century-old Toby Cart. It's been called the world's largest laundry, and it's here that workers spend their days pounding the grime off the city's dirty clothes. Rare footage of Turkmenistan's futuristic capital, Ashgabat. Gleaming marble-clad apartment buildings line spotless boulevards. Morning in Angoulême, southern France. In a tent on the outskirts of the old town, workers are putting the finishing touches to a showcase of art in an exhibition of up-and-coming new comic book talents. Eve, an eight-month-old leopard cub, was found abandoned in northern Kenya when she was just a few days old. She was brought here to the Nairobi Animal Orphanage, where she's being raised alongside three lion cubs. Yeah. Henrik prepares his ski equipment for another day on the slopes. But here on Namibia's wild Atlantic coast, the skiing is of an altogether different variety. 